we made our wish we will find out if it comes true and that's the figure of John Lennon this is what you will come across when you search on Google about the Narutova Street and look at this use guys the largest and the most important temple of Prague which is St. Vitus Cathedral That's so beautiful This is a corner lane This is where I think prisoners was getting tortured, I don't know Okay, that's the exit and the entrance. It has some arrow, it's over there. Which I will go now. It was more convenient starting from here and making my way up slowly because I want to go first to the St. Vitus Cathedral and then visit the South Tower and move on around that area so this is kind of the map we are here so the plan is we pass the stables I think it's called stables and then here is the cathedral the tower and then move our way over here or over there we'll see so you pass through security check nothing important and this is the second courtyard and it looks really empty today it's thursday and it's the 10th of february i don't know if something is closed the Imperial Stables is not even open also, I'm not sure if it's opening later on but that's really strange What's we got here? A well? That's a souvenir shop And we are standing in front of the largest and the most important temple of Prague, which is St. Vitus Cathedral. Look how massive it is. And you got here the ticket office. So these are the prices. This is the full admission for these buildings. Then you get extra for the south. And then you need to pay for photography another 50. So I got my tickets. This is I think for the South Tower, 150. This is for the corner lane, the and some other stuff. It was 250, and then 50 for the photo pass. And then this, it's I think for museum. I don't know. I think just a discount. So let's go inside and see the. Vidus Cathedral before the two groups start coming. Thank you. A really impressive cathedral. Gallery shop. Very nice stores. I think it's best to get an audio guide when you go around. I didn't done that, but I can't do with audio guides.
So that was the Vitus Cathedral guys which is behind me and if you go on the right you will come I think to the south tower which will be our next stop I will see but look at this site this is way more cooler than the front of it this is way better angle Unbelievable. That's the entrance of the South Tower and we'll be going up in a second after I take some pictures and some clips of this side. just entered the south tower and I've been told there's 287 steps so well if it's for you it's for you I will take you along the journey and you can judge if it's something that you want to do so as it seems there's some steep steps I'm not gonna lie, it's hard actually, and I've been to many towers. <sighs> Imagine if it was busy, there is no place to rest. <sighs> I think we're here. I need fresh air. Oh. Not some great views. Look at this. That's so beautiful. And it's really high. That's the courtyard. The Petrin Tower, the river, the bridges, the Charles Bridge, you can see everything from here. And it's a 360 views, guys. Look at these tiles on the cathedral. I think I cover all the area. I will take some more clips and I will see you at the bottom. Coming down was easy. And here you got the old royal palace. And okay, let's. I, I, I wasn't planning to go inside, but I would just quickly go inside and come outside because the time now it's 11 30 and I think I overstayed on the places. I think this is it, not too big and yeah, okay, that's good, so we're done.
the old Royal Palace was small and easy to go around and we exited and we came to the other side of the Vidus Cathedral and also we got this pink church which is the St. George Basilica I think if I'm not mistaken and there is something about the Maria Teresa which I have no idea what that is and yeah okay let's go in the basilica and we see what's next so this is the basilica of saint george This looks really, really old. I apologize that I didn't come prepared to tell you a little bit more about it. But if I'm in a rush, I cannot Google the things and waste some time. I will put maybe under the description a few things if you want to read about it. But yeah, I'm just going through. So, we've got too much things to do today. St. George. Also small, really quick look, worth coming in and yeah, let's continue exploring the surroundings of Prague Castle. I exited the Basilica of St. George and I think I forgot something at the Vidus Cathedral. I'm not sure if they got catacombs, uh, I believe it's where they also have the St. Wenceslas there, which I haven't seen and it is what it is i'm not sure if i'm going back i'm now getting towards the famous golden lane and yeah from there i think afterwards i will go to the taliborka tower but let's do one step at a time let's visit the golden lane first and we'll see what's next The Golden Lane is before the Lukovi Palace. It says here Golden Lane. And we just go on this side. So the time is 12.15. Uh, I want to go to the St. Nicholas Church. But at the same time, I need to go to the Strahov library which closes at four o'clock so i need to see after we finish here what is more strategic to go first so the hotel in also needs to get but after five it's free but you will not be able to see the houses or shops open at that time let's enter the golden lane and I will tell you a few facts that I just read. So now we are in the Golden Lane. And this is the Golden Lane. I think it goes also on that side. So Golden Lane was a place where soldiers was living here. Also Franz Kafka, the famous novelist, I think was in this house. I think it was his sister and he stayed here a few times. And I think it's like now it became as a selling point of things about him. And yeah, this is the Golden Lane. I will wander around and let me show you. 
Like cute small houses, but really small. This is the top room and tower. You can just enter and see. I think it's where I used to stay. The bed. little houses so yeah that's basically it I'm not sure where that leads and I'm going through those stairs which I think it may lead to the Daliborka tower the tower where there was tortures I think yeah I'm alright here is the Daliborka tower creepy place This is where I think prisoners was getting tortured, I don't know. There are some spikes in here. That's crazy. Maybe there was the prisoners, maybe. <laughs> Got the hands, the axe. So yeah, this is the Taliboka Tower. A lot of tools that <laughs> it's out of my mind to be using these things on a human. So I think that's the prop castle. I'm not sure if I have something else to show you. Maybe the the old uh, stairs, which I will go down now from there more views so let's continue so the exit of there it led me through this place so everything is connected actually and also something that I forgot to mention about the Lokovic palace is it has a terrace an amazing terrace and you get some cool views 
if you visit that place. Some free views if you don't want to go up the south tower. On the south tower it's way more cooler views. There is also an entrance here. I think that's where I wanted to visit from the beginning, but we came from the other side. And here are the old castle stairs. Which my next stop will be over there, St. Nicholas. It says it's about 10 minutes Cut road and go through here, you need to pay 50 corunas, but it will save us time. So let's do that there. I'm not sure why you need to pay though, it's some kind of gardens or something, but yeah, anyway. The funny part, imagine if I'm wrong, this would be a waste of time. <laughs> 